you are an IB student taking TOK and preparing to write your Theory of Knowledge essay for the May 2012 session. And I'm going to give you some information here from the May 2011 TOK subject report. In other words, it's advice from the IB to both students and teachers about how to better prepare students to write better TOK essays in the future. Um, the first point that I will make that the IB is quite emphatic about is that uh, your teachers are here to help you. Um, you should get help from your teachers and uh, please ask questions and please um, check with your teachers to make sure you kind of have a grip about the TOK essay, the title that you're choosing. Of course, uh, the IB also emphasizes make sure you have the right, the correct title list. It should say May 2012 on it. I think and hope you'll be able to do that, but apparently there are many IB students who did not do that last year. That would be a disaster if you answered the wrong title. So make sure you're answering one of the ten prescribed titles from May 2012 and uh, get help from your teacher. Make sure you feel like you understand what the TOK question is about what the essay question is about and make sure that your teacher feels like you have a grip on the question too. Okay, so the first piece of information coming from the IB is that um, they are happy and gratified to use their word that more students are understanding that the central issue in the TOK essay is knowledge issues, that you're supposed to be writing about knowledge issues. And uh, the one little warning they offer is please don't let the knowledge issues take you off on a tangent and please make sure that the knowledge issues are relevant to the essay question and that you remain focused on answering the question while developing your knowledge issues during the essay. Uh, secondly, they say something about the areas of knowledge, the usual warning about history that many TOK students do not seem to understand what history with a capital H, the academic discipline history is and they seem to think that history is just everything that happened and they don't understand that history involves something called the historical method that historians use and uh, I would suggest if you are going to write about history you should probably be in history and you should be discussing this with your history teacher um, if you want to write about history and you're not in history, then I would suggest that you talk to students who are in the class and the history teacher at your school, uh, which might be me. And uh, they also warn about mathematics. Ste students seem to um, include trivial examples by saying things like, well, we know one plus one equals two because if you take one apple and put another apple, you have two apples. Uh, this sort of trivial example is not helpful and does not help you get good points. So be careful about mathematics. Again, I would warn, if you're going to write about mathematics, you should probably know something about mathematics. It should probably be one of your higher level subjects. Okay, um, the, some examiners are complaining that there are either not enough examples in the TOK essays or that there are too many. So be reasonable. You should have a few relevant, pertinent, personal examples in your TOK essay that show how your learning, either in school or outside of school, is um, informing your TOK essay, is helping you write your essay, is helping you think about the type of knowledge issues that you're developing in your TOK essay. Um, they also point out that in the use of examples, please make sure that you have checked them for factual accuracy. If you say something like, um, everybody in the Middle Ages thought the world is flat, do you have proof of that? Um, do you have evidence? What is your evidence? Can you give a reference to support that? And another um, thing, again, where uh, we should pursue the golden mean is in citations and references and a bibliography. Please do not give um, a long list of citations or a two-page bibliography just loaded with websites. That is not appropriate for a TOK essay. On the other hand, a completely blank slate with no references, no citations, and no bibliography is probably not for a TOK essay as well. A reasonable handful of citations such as four or five and a commensurate number of sources in your bibliography is probably the best way to go in a TOK essay. Um, they also warn against 
um, trivial examples and that are very commonly used, they call them cliches, such as heliocentric theory, Copernic Copernicus and Galileo, Newton's apple, the Australian black swans, the blue sky, the Big Bang, Genesis, or Darwin. One plus one equals two, and Hitler, Jews, and the Holocaust, the Mona Lisa and Guernica, or Pluto no longer being a planet. So please try to dig up some examples that are a little bit more creative and that come out of your own learning, things that you are discussing in your classes, and not just the type of thing that most TOK students write about. All right, um, students still need to consider different perspectives when they're writing their essay. So when you come up with a difficult knowledge issue, you should look at different points of view. And you might look at how that knowledge issue is treated differently in different areas of knowledge and think about the links between the areas of knowledge as you are treating that knowledge issue. Um, examiners are frequently commenting that criterion C, the quality of analysis, is the most difficult criterion to give high marks on. That's where students are scoring low marks. So, of course, you should read the criteria carefully and, in particular, understand criterion C, quality of analysis. Um, you know, sometimes essays lack effective counterclaims. You have to have both claims and counterclaims in your essays. Again, if you're a bit unclear about what this means, please talk to your TOK teacher. Um, do not use dictionary definitions. There should not be a phrase in your TOK essay that says something like, according to the Oxford English Dictionary, compassion is blah, blah, blah. No, none of those definitions. Define things in your own words. Having said that, you should be using dictionaries, encyclopedias, web resources, things like the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy as you're doing your research and writing your essay, but you should not be directly quoting them in the body of your essay. Um, the structure, they've got a few comments on structure. Uh, of course, you do not want to have bulky footnotes where you do a lot of explaining and trying to get around the word limit that way. Not too many quotations, please. I mean, I know that the TOK guide is kind of written like this. There's a whole bunch of clever co quotations from very from famous Chinese philosophers and everything else. Uh, okay, you can have a couple of those in your TOK essay. They should mean something to you. They should be personal to you. They should demonstrate. You should be able to demonstrate an understanding of them and how the use of that quotation helps to develop the argument as you explore your knowledge issues. Um, okay, and. Uh, that's about it. They've got a few other technical things that they want to point out. Please make sure that you use line spacing of at least 1.5. Use a font size of 12 and a standard font such as Times New Roman or Arial. Use default size margins. There's no point in using those narrow margins or wide margins. Just use the normal margins and do write the prescribed title at the start of the essay. As stated on the list, write it word for word answer the title exactly as it is written and I will say once again please remember we your teachers are here to help you discuss your essay with your teacher we can only go through it one time only one draft but we can talk about it so use your time in class we've set class time aside for you to discuss your essay with your teacher if you need to make appointments outside of class, please do discuss your TOK essay and make sure your teacher thinks you're on the right track. Naturally, this is two-thirds of your final grade. We all want you to do well. You want to do well. The earlier you get started, the better. Please don't put this off. As I've said before, the TOK essay is one of the most difficult things you're going to do in the IB. Take it as a challenge. It's intellectually very challenging. Enjoy it. Get into it. The more time you put into it and the more you deeply think about these things, the better you'll be able to express yourself and the better grade you'll get on your TOK essay. So, good luck.